These are comfort foods with a healthy twist. Nutrition and fitness coach Michelle uh, McGratton, McGratton <laughs> joins us now with, uh, with more of the details. So you've developed yeah. these. I have. Uh, a lot yeah. of them have added protein. They do, them. absolutely. So I like to work with macros. Um, I've got two young kids. I've got, I've got a stepdaughter and a stepson, and I'm trying to get that protein in and clean things up a little bit, try to do more, you know, let, um, coconut sugar and fruit and less refined sugars for them. Okay. So I try to do that in this and make it still taste really, really good. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. these are the foods, so especially this time of year, yes, right? Exactly. That we really kind of, our body craves yes. them. Crave it. Yeah, exactly. So, and it's quite easy. I try to do a lot of no-bake things as well. That mm -hmm. way for my non-bakers out there, just pop it in the fridge or the freezer and we're good to go. Just okay. to make life a little bit easier for everybody. <laughs> And the secret yeah. ingredient is? Yeah. So I developed a protein powder, um, performance protein. It's plant-based. So the flavor is toffee coffee. We have a new one coming in the fall. Sorry, in the, in the new year. It is the fall now. Um, but it's really, really delicious. It's clean for the kids, mostly hemp and pea protein. Um, but it just, you know, bakes up really nicely in a lot of these treats, too. Okay. How do you, so I've never baked yeah. with a protein yeah. powder before. How? Just, yeah, just scoop it in. Yeah, just scoop it in. Just add a couple scoops. It adds, you know, a little protein punch there. Okay. And a lot of our things. And uh, it bakes up quite nicely. It's not gritty. Doesn't taste chalky, which is you don't know what's there. Don't then. even know it's there. Okay, yeah. so what, great. what kind of things have you? Okay, let's there? start off with the Twix bars. So Twix, you know, we just got over at Halloween. I'm like, how can I clean this up? So I've got an You're almond. Still eating yeah, still eating, yeah. <laughs> So I've got an almond flour base. The center in, in replacing caramel, I did a date center, and I added some of the protein powder into that, which is pretty incredible. So kind of just boil it down quickly. The top is a dairy-free or sugar-free uh, dark chocolate, which you mix with coconut oil. Melt that on top, and this is popping in the fridge, popping in the freezer, okay. and we're good to go. It's really delicious. So they're, they're currently melting. So that's a no-bake? Yeah. No-bake, right no here. Bake. Yeah, all right. With a little bit of protein. And we'll get all the recipes up on our, we'll yes. get the link up to exactly. your site. Perfect, yeah. And then next up, so these are the kids' favorites. So Gabriel and Penelope love these. These are pumpkin muffins. The best part is that you make them in the blender. Throw all of your ingredients in the blender, whip it up for my busy moms and dads out there. So, so easy. Um, so once again, gluten-free, refined sugar-free, and delicious, very, very okay. moist inside. And the, the pumpkin. chocolate chips. Yeah, and we've got some veg in there, right? We've got yeah. the pumpkin in there, which is yeah. really, really nice. Um, these are really neat. I made these a few weeks ago. For my air fryer people out there, you don't have to use the air fryer, but these are individual apple crumbles. So you pop them into the air fryer. So you chop up your apples, um, just put a bit of cinnamon. I, I work a lot with coconut sugar and maple syrup. Mm -hmm. I use a lot less of it as opposed to white sugar. The top there is just because some Because it's oats. so flavorful. It's so flavorful, yeah. yeah. You, don't need a, you don't need a lot at all. Uh, the top here is just some almond flour. You could use gluten-free flour if you have any nut allergies. Um, some oats, more coconut sugar, and they are so, so good. So you can have some dairy-free ice cream with this or some Greek yogurt for some more protein. Okay. But these are a favorite. And you've got a mine. chili here. I have a chili as well. Chili is amazing. Um, so you can do turkey, you can do ground chicken, bison, actually, and ground beef. I try to throw some vegetables in here too. Yeah. yeah right? so hide, hiding. Hide some, hide some right. veggies. Um, I try to hide some zucchini in there. I add in some carrots, uh, but it's very, very flavorful and so delicious. And you can like pump the heat up or, you know, not do as much for the kids if they're going to eat that as well. But Really, really good. Great okay. comfort food. And lasagna. lasagna. How do you, how yeah. you twist yeah. so out lasagna? I, same thing, add some veggies in there, right? Okay. So I've got a base layer of gluten-free noodles. I've got a layer of zucchini and eggplant that are hidden inside, right? Really, really good. And you can do dairy-free cheese on top if you've got any lactose issues. I just used a bit of uh, light cheese there. And then for the ricotta in the middle, you can also use cashew ricotta if you have some, you know, if anyone has a plant-based preference. Um, but it, that's a hit too. So for okay. my Italian family, they love it. They embrace it, <laughs> so that's how I know they it's don't good. know the difference. Yeah. That's okay, we've got good. about 30 seconds yep, left. Perfect. What's this last so one? the protein coffee cake. This one is unbelievable. So this is one of my favorites. This also has our protein in it. Okay. Um, so it's got some chocolate, some walnuts, almond flour. It is so moist, so dense. If you're having a dinner party, this is what you need to do. That's yeah. the one. Okay. Yeah. And your uh, your method is called the Michelle method. The Michelle method. Yeah. Okay. You can find all of these recipes on my Instagram handle at the Michelle method. Uh, my website. I've got five digital cookbooks. I'm always okay. posting fun recipes. We'll get the, the links up on our yeah. website then. Chch dot com slash morning life. Thank Thanks you, Nat. Thank you.